Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. We're playing old video games in the order they came out in, and today we're playing a game called Dragon Stomper for the Atari 2600, which came out in 1982. Uh, and we can see from the box art, it looks like you're a gray-skinned dude inside of a gold suit of armor with wings on your head for some reason. Supercharger unit must be purchased separately. Cassette player required. Starpath Corporation, formerly Arcadia Corporation. Back of the box... Dragon Stomper by Starpath. Battle your way along the Trail of Enchantment to the Lair of the Evil Dragon. Detailed fantasy gamescapes. Three separate multi-load game chapters. Inventories of your strength, gold, dexterity, articles of magic. Choose to flee, flight, or employ magic. Full screen interiors of shops, caves, hospitals. Can all be yours. Exclusive multi-load load cassette with three distinct game segments, each with variations in graphics and action for longer, more challenging play, equivalent to several conventional game cartridges. Full scrolling allows you to plot your course across a gamescape many times larger than your TV screen. The added computer power of the supercharger makes this complex, engaging fantasy adventure possible. <laughs> so, as mentioned, this is a um, supercharger game which required a tape player and a cassette. Um, so that's interesting. Something I didn't even know existed for the Atari 2600 as a kid. Uh, this game was programmed by Stephen Landrum. And it was awarded in 2005. Forbes magazine said that this is the best title ever made in the history of U.S. video gaming by a single person. So that's a bold claim. Uh, and reviews at the time in 1983 were really high and said it was a surprisingly deep, ambitious RPG. So, you know, we'll see. It's bold claims, though. Oh, no, a monkey. Okay. You... Where hit, you take zero, five hits damage. Move, fight, use, well, let's fight. You just hit the monkey for O2 units more. The monkey missed. Fight, you missed the monkey. You were hit, take two units of damage more. Fight, you killed the monkey. You gained a key. Use stick to move. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's a little RPG. This is a full-fledged little RPG on the uh, Atari. Oh, no, a demon. Uh, demon sounds scary. You just hit the demon for one unit. You were hit. Take three units of damage. Fight the demon. You just hit the demon one unit. You were hit for one unit. Fight. You missed the demon. You were hit for two units of damage. What's my status? Okay. Fight. You just hit the unit for two units. You were hit. You killed the demon. You gained a charm. Uh, can I go in? Use charm feels weird. Okay. Trap. Oh no, a golem. The golem missed. Um, you missed. The golem missed. Let's just keep fighting the golem, I guess. Uh, okay, I gained a cross and some gold. That's cool. Hmm. Hey, look. Oh no, a bug. I was gonna go to the church. You were hit. I'll oh, just kill the bug already. Uh, you were dead. I'm rewinding. Okay. I'm gonna use the cross. Does that heal me? Okay, I escaped the bug. Okay, so let's try to go. The church is locked. Let's use the key. You gained a cross. I'm going to donate 200. I gained strength. Huh. How interesting. Another church. Pray. No effect. <laughs> Praying has no effect, people. 
Oh no, a slime. Okay, well, I'm not gonna play too much of this, um, but it's interesting. Oh no, a clown. Okay, so graphics. Yeah, I'm gonna have to knock them for that. Two sound, um, two music. Yeah, there's a little bit of music there. One story. You know, it says it's an RPG, and maybe the manual goes into more detail, but I have no idea why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, usually RPGs are heavy in story. I'm just gonna give it a two. Controls. I gotta give them props for, like, attempting an RPG with a joystick and one button. Um, funness. Um, maybe a three and a half. I could see that being fun. Does it hold my attention? A five? I'm curious. Um, I might, you know, back in the day, I would have played this and probably played a lot of it. Uh, overall, I'm gonna give it a five and a half. Um, I feel like there's probably a lot more to this game, and I just didn't have time to sit there and play it, but, uh, it's interesting. Anyway, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.